Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I have decided to do a quick little love reading um, for the week ahead. All right, so whenever you watch this, this is for for that the week ahead. Okay, so this is a love reading. I'm going to do it for all signs. We're going to start with Aries and go right through Pisces. We're going to get uh, one of these or two of these, and then we're going to get a clarifier or two. Okay. So we're going to start with Aries. Love. Love for Aries. For the week ahead. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Ooh, that's nice, Aries. Patience is paying off. Your patience waiting could lead to marriage. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, here they are. You may feel like progress hasn't been being made. You know, you may be losing your patience waiting for this. But, you know, maybe you have to go through a period of finding confidence and, and um, recognizing what you're worth. So there's a reason why if you are waiting for somebody, if you're a single and you're waiting, you have to remember what you're worth. It's like there's a lack of self-esteem, a lack of self-confidence here. So if you can turn this card around and find that confidence, find that self-esteem, that self-respect, and recognize what you're worth, then this person will come in. This right here, this is conflict of five of swords. This is um, power struggles. And maybe you're conflicted. Maybe you're conflicted about getting married. Maybe you're married and you don't want to be married. I don't know what the case is. You're going to have to figure that one out because this is for so many people. But this, this Five of Swords can, all, can sometimes be severing ties. And when, if you were to look at it with this card, maybe it's severing ties with your lack of confidence. Okay, Maybe it's time for you to you know, run away from that mentality. Okay, uh, Maybe it's time for you, to, you know, to let go of your ego. Um, this can often signify an ego, you know, that you're letting ego drive um, or ego driven, you know, wanting to prove yourself. You don't have to prove yourself. When you meet that right partner, you aren't going to have to prove yourself because they're going to love you for who you are. So you need to let go of those power struggles within that are telling you that you need to prove yourself. Let that go. Just let it go. Um, I feel as though um, maybe you feel you've been defeated in a, in a marriage before or a contract, a partnership, and therefore you you're just feel like you can't let anybody in. And that's where your self-confidence comes into play. Just because if something didn't work out in the past doesn't mean that it won't work out in the future. I feel like right now you're going through a period of, of refinding yourself. It's needed. It is going to bring you... Um, what you desire at the right time. Divine timing is at work, Aries. Taurus. Now, these are all for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, so you can watch any one. This is for Taurus. Well, you know, when they fall out like that, I have to take them. I mean, three of them fell out, so I'm going to have to take all three. Um, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Well, we all saw that one coming, didn't we? Um, time apart from your partner is separation time. It's time to separate from the past. Literally. Cut the cord. Oh. Wait a minute here. These two fell out too. Same cards. You could be dealing with an Aries. You know, I just shuffle. I just shuffle. You saw me shuffling. So, you know, I'm not sure if you are dealing with an Aries. You very well could be. So, maybe that's who's coming in. Um, you know, this situation involves marriage. 
maybe you have to separate from a, from somebody to to get what you want but again divine timing is that work in your love life it really really is okay maybe you're not completely separated Maybe you have to prove to the universe that you are separated. I mean, if you're separated physically, that's one thing. But if you're, you have to be fed, separated emotionally, okay, so and mentally. So I feel as though for you, Taurus, there is some sort of separation that is you have gone through or needs to happen so that you can find your bliss, okay? This is something that is going to probably lead to marriage, but you have to go through this first. And whether it's physical, emotional, mental, whatever. Divine timing is at work. We're going to get a clarifier for each of these. Taurus. <laughs> Three cards. You know, when they fall out, they're meant to be. So this probably is going to lead to marriage and commitment. So yeah, you know, you have to let go of the need to fight for something that is no longer. Okay? Maybe you've misjudged the situation. You've been holding on to it. Maybe you've been fighting for something. Maybe you've been feeling really conflicted and indecisive about a separation. But there is a new opportunity with the Four of Cups reverse. An opportunity for love. That could lead to marriage. This right here is a marriage. It is a it is a commitment that you have been waiting for. But you have to keep the faith. You have to believe in yourself. You have to be able to follow your own path and trust. Trust in the divine timing. The high priest is about divine timing as well. Everything is happening as it should. So don't rush it. Don't push it. Allow it to unfold because at the right time, this person is going to come into your life and they're going to offer you the Ace of Cups with the Four of Cups reversed. It's something that you have been waiting for. So this is, this is for the week ahead. So perhaps there will be an opportunity that you've been waiting for that comes into your life if you have separated from something that was, you know, that that was holding you back this was like the seven of wands is is connected to the separation card it's like you've been overly critical you know you've been criticized to the point where you feel like you're not worthy you know you've been feel like you've been attacked you need to let go of that you need to let go of those feelings you need to let go of, of needing to fight for anything okay because you don't need to fight so I feel as though there is an opportunity for a commitment that is coming right in and it is something that you have been waiting for. An opportunity for a commitment, Taurus, that could lead to marriage. If you have separated emotionally, physically, and mentally. Gemini. Gemini. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Get out there. Have fun. Be playful. Flirt. Remember when you were younger what it felt like to be playful. Say when you were like 18 and you were doing crazy things. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Be playful. But be careful. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Pay attention to the red flags. You never know what other people are doing. Okay, look beyond the surface. Um, hmm. We're going to get some clarifiers. Something is, is, is hidden and you're going to have to really figure it out. Okay, so there's a, there's a hidden situation here. There's some red flags that are that you see that you really need to pay attention to. Those red flags are popping up for a reason. 
A red flag is your inner guide saying something's up. If you have to question something, then that's a red flag. Ooh, temptation. The devil. Yeah. So you may be tempted this week. This is lust, obsession. Maybe you're maybe you're putting yourself out there, you're getting playful and you know something could get out of hand. So just keep that in mind. You know, are you looking for something solid, stable and secure? There's an opportunity or maybe you're say solid, stable and secure. This is um, abundance. It maybe you need to really be careful here because you put yourself out there. You're playful. You're out having fun. Maybe you you overdo it. You you get yourself into a little bit of trouble here. There could be some you know drinking, drugs, sex and rock and roll, whatever, you know. And you know maybe maybe it it turns out that uh, you know somebody wants a little bit more. You know maybe they're they're after your abundance so just keep that in mind it's a message that somebody needs to hear maybe you're the stability maybe you have a home you know maybe maybe you, who knows be careful be careful gemini because there's a red flag surrounding your money okay don't and then you know this can also signify you know this is the temptation maybe you know you go out to play and you end up losing money okay it could be costing you some money so just keep that in mind that, you know, it all's, all's, all's fun, all's good when you're out having fun, but you could regret it, okay, in the end. So just keep that in mind. It feels as though somebody could be, you know, you have, you have money, you can pay. All right. Well, that's a red flag. Do you want to have a, a commitment relationship with somebody who can't pay? I mean, it's just, it's just, I don't know where that's coming from, but heads up. Cancer, cancer, week ahead. Keep an open mind, your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. That's a pretty clear cut right there. That one went flying. That means that this person is not your usual type. They're not your usual type, and you are being called to keep an open mind. Give it a chance. Look at things from a new perspective, Cancer. Oh, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Beautiful. But this person doesn't look like your usual type. They don't act like your usual type. So you're call you have been calling in your soulmate, but when the soul because we this is calling in your soulmate, and this is your soulmate may differ. This person is not your usual type. So be open to the possibilities. Okay. Take a risk. Take a risk, Cancer. This could be fun. There's, a, there's an opportunity for a fresh new start in love. Spontaneous. Be spontaneous. Just go for it. Even though they, do, they don't fit, fit your uh, description, just do it. You know, make, be careful. Be careful what you choose. And again, this is illusion. You've been calling in your soulmate. This person, again, still, I really have to reiterate, this person is not your usual type. Don't let your illusions of who you think your soulmate is hold you back. I think you have options, but you really have to think about this for a minute. Okay, step back and think about this. It's not about what's in the cups. It's about the love, right? It's about the love. So what's in the cups is materialistic, okay? So it's ego, again, in the cups. So calling in your soulmate, your soulmate is absolutely not who you think they are. They, they're, you won't, don't judge your soulmate on what they have and what they look like. Okay, that's an illusion. 
that's fake, that's ego, choose on what's in their heart, okay? I feel like if you guys are single and you have been calling in your soulmate, there will there could be an opportunity to start start with somebody if you can look beyond the surface. Leo Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Get out there. Have fun. Flirt. Lightheartedness. Let your guard down. Be happy. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Interesting. Maybe you need to go, maybe you need to go away. If you're in a couple and things have been rough, maybe you need to go away and reconnect with each other. Maybe you guys need to clear your energy. If you're single, maybe you need to go out, go on a retreat and flirt. You know, go go out on a little bit mini vacation by yourself and meet new people. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Be open. I think there's been some trouble in a relationship. Now maybe maybe it's it's time to to start healing. Maybe it's maybe this relationship has just ended or it's going to end and you need to put yourself back out there. It feels as though there is some sort of of definite trouble. There's trouble in a relationship here, Leo. And it's time to disconnect and, and figure out what's going to make you happy. What's going to make you lighthearted again. And it is time for you to take action. Travel, perhaps. Perhaps you need a time out to regain what's something that has been lost. It's time for a fresh start. It's time for you to, to take a risk and start on a new journey. So I feel as though for Leo, there's a, some sort of rest that is needed, a timeout, to regather playfulness, lightheartedness that has been lost from a troubled relationship. Virgo. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. Don't be pessimistic because your thoughts truly do become things. Stay optimistic. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith, Virgo. Have faith. Have faith. Everything happens for a reason at the right time. Have trust. Don't let negative thoughts bring you backwards. Don't let them bring you down. Think positive. Now we have faith in this card and faith in this card. It's about faith, Virgo, for the week ahead. Have faith that everything is happening as it should for a reason. Karma, the judgment card. Ooh, awareness. Forgiveness. Releasing the past. A secret is about to be revealed. There ha maybe you receive some revelation that changes your life. Oh, there's it could be somebody charging right in, heading in your direction very, very quickly. Maybe a little scary, but you are being called to have faith and trust. Have no fear. Have no fear. Whatever is happening is meant to happen. 
Stay optimistic. Allow it. Allow it. That's all I can say. I mean, allow this to happen. Have faith and trust. This is the judgment. It's labeled karma, but this is a... Something is happening to move you forward, to wake you up. Stay optimistic and have faith. Have no fear. No fear. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Go for it. Libra. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Allow yourself to be playful. Go back to when you were happy. Remember those happy times. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Don't let that hold you back. Just because if there's financial issues in your career, don't let that affect your happiness. Don't. Yeah, <laughs> it's time for you to be logical here. Be logical. Look at things from a different perspective. Maybe you need to stand up for yourself. Maybe you need to put yourself first at this time. You lack confidence and strength. You lack it to be playful because you're worried about your finances and career. To hell with that shit. Don't let that hold you back from being happy. That's ego. I'm sorry, but it is. Go back to happiness. Remember when you were happy and don't worry about the finances and career. Everything's going to work out in your favor. It is. There's nothing to worry about. It's time for you to don't see playfulness as weakness. Allow yourself to be playful. You're letting worry hold you you're letting worry hold you back. You're being called to let go of this worry. Stop worrying. Stop losing sleep over your over your money situation. If you stop worrying about it, it will fix itself. It will. Worry feeds it. It feeds it. Because you know, your thoughts become things. Hold your head up high. Allow yourself to have fun. Accept it for what it is. And just be happy. Just be happy. Don't let money worries affect your health. Because it will affect your health. It will. Allow yourself to be playful and happy. Don't worry about the money. Look at this from a new perspective. Everything will work out as it should. It's time to take care of you right now. Your inner being.
Scorpio. got three. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. Finances and career. Oh my goodness. And, and the same thing happened with Taurus. Okay, we got one card and then we got two of the last things. So you may be dealing with a Taurus or you may have a Taurus that's on your mind. I don't know what the story is, but you could also be dealing with a Libra now because Libra had these. It's, this is crazy, okay, because Taurus had one fall out, and then the two that from the last one, same deal. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but I feel like right now finances and career are absolutely an issue in your life right now. It's holding you back from a relationship. It's causing trouble. You're being called to recapture the romance or a new romance through play from playfulness. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Just go have fun. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the money. There's an opportunity for a relationship here. Um, work on the partnership. Scorpio. You know, some of you may be getting out of a commitment and finding a new one. I just have to tell you, that's what I see, that's what I feel. I feel like there's an end of a commitment here. Somebody has been really discontent in their current relationship and therefore they're probably thinking about getting out of it. They may be staying because of the financial reasons, but they're being called to take action, get the hell out or do something. You have, it's up to you, it's, it's uh, in your hands. Move forward, have no fear. Have no fear. Don't worry about the money. Go after the relationship that you desire. Go after the relationship that you desire that's going to make you happy. You know, it's time to make the decision to be happy again. It is. This is the, the decision has been made to be happy again. I want playfulness. I want happiness. And I have to go get it. So I feel as though you guys are heading out of a situation that is no longer happy. There's no contentment there. I think that you've given it a chance and now it's, 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 and I believe that this looks like somebody has made the decision to move on, recapture their playfulness and find something new. Crazy. Yeah, somebody's walking away. I have the eight of cups on the bottom. Somebody is walking away from a situation to, and they've made the decision to walk away and head towards a new re new relationship. That's what it looks like to me for Scorpio. Sagittarius. Finances and career seems to be a theme. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Could be holding you back. Oh, that's way too many. We can't do that. I grabbed way too many. I'm going to do this again. Hopefully one will fall out. Sagittarius. There it is. Oh, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. You know what more can I say? That card pretty much says it all. Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody has reached a dead end situation and it is time to find their strength and energy and get creative. To relight that fire within them. You have to be strong. 
you have to remove yourself from a situation where the, the, there's unrequited love. It's time for it's time for a rest. It's, it's time for uh, time out. Time out. I feel as though things are a little rocky right now, Sagittarius, because you're not in the you're not where you want to be. It's up it's up to you to find the strength, the courage, the confidence, the the willpower to relight that fire within you to gain what you want within a relationship or within your career. It's about you finding the passion. So I feel as though right now you're not having wish fulfillment because you have to you have to follow your dreams. In order for you to follow your dreams, you have to take action. Maybe you have to go through this time out to figure out what where does your happiness lie? Where does your wish fulfillment lie? You guys are involved in a situation that isn't you aren't feeling it I'm not feeling it it's not what I want but it's you have the resources to take the lead to be the boss of your own life to fulfill your wishes but you may need to go through a period of rest and recuperation or um, letting go of the old ideas so that you can find something new again maybe you maybe you need to start a new job a new career whatever but the thing is you have to have energy to do that so it's time for you to find that willpower and ambition inside inside of you to go after what is going to make you happy okay so this message is saying you know what you're involved in a situation that is less than fulfilling get the hell out Find your willpower to get out. Capricorn. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Boy, that's hard to do, isn't it, Capricorn? Wow. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Go with the flow. It's out of your control. Whatever is meant to be, it will be. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. It don't, you know... Part of it is, is thinking this won't work out, thinking that you have to keep it under control, being pessimistic. No, this isn't, you know, stop, stop. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Allow this to unfold naturally. If it's meant to be, it will be. Think positive. Your thoughts do become things. Okay, if you think that it will work out, it will. You could be dealing with an Aries, um, but this is trying to control, trying to con let go of the need to control seriously. And this is what this is. I mean, somebody is trying to control how things happen and, and some things you can't control. It will only bring chaos to your life trying to control something that isn't meant to be controlled. Oh, act now, think later, take action, stay up, op stay optimistic. Seriously, there's somebody in you that you may be attracted to or they're attracted to you and you're being called to take action before you lose. Think positive. This is exciting. Go for it. Go for it. Act now, think later. Stay optimistic. Give whatever this situation is a chance. Stop trying to control it. Aquarius. worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Woo! Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, Aquarius. Woo! Maybe this is the soulmate you've been waiting for. Or if you're still waiting, this person is coming. Woo! 
But you know you have to end something first because the death is reversed. You're holding on to something. So divine timing is halted. It's halted because you're holding on to something that is dead and it's getting old. You need to release it. This right here is accepting reality. It's time to accept the reality of a situation. There's something going on behind the scenes that will re reunite you with your soulmate. But you have to you have to realize that your soulmate comes at the right time, but you are still holding on to something that is dead. That's what this is. It needs to be released. You release it, divine timing will bring in your soulmate. The truth will be revealed. And Pisces. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive and thinking and faith will bring you romance. Free yourself. Imagine that. It's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself from the negative thinking. Free yourself from your ex. Free yourself from anything that is holding you back. It is time to take back control of your life. You're the boss. But you have to think positive. It's about give and take. You give what you get, right? So if you give, you will receive. This is about staying stuck. Some of you have been stuck in the past, stuck on something that doesn't serve you. You're being called to release, stop resisting this change. Uh, even though it's a struggle, free yourself. Free yourself from hanging on to something that no longer serves you. It's time for you to look at life or looking look at a situation or look at your old self through a new perspective you could be receiving something that you absolutely deserve pisces stay optimistic about your love life do not forget to free yourself from whatever doesn't serve you stop resisting change allow yourself to be free Talk to you later.